Formatting can cause many problems. There are many ways poor formatting can make data difficult to work on. For example, a common issue is where numbers are formatted as text. This means that your spreadsheet cannot treat them like numbers and perform calculations on them. Let's see how this works. Create a new spreadsheet. Type some random numbers in a column. Let's add them up using sum. Your total should be correct. Now select one or two of these numbers and go to Format, Plain Text. You'll see that these numbers are no longer included in the total and that the total has changed. So it's important when you create a spreadsheet to make sure your columns are in the right format. Otherwise, all of your calculations and analysis may be wrong. Another useful way to find numbers that are formatted as text is to sort your data by that column. All of the numbers that think they are text will be together at the end or the beginning as the spreadsheet will not be able to put them in the right order. Then you can select them all and change the formatting in one go. Sorting data is also a useful way to find empty rows and cells. Try this out with your random numbers. Another common issue is empty cells and unwanted spaces. There are a few ways to clean these up. If you open the sample data set called the Invisible Man of Data below in the Resource section, you can see these methods in action. Empty cells and unwanted spaces can be a major problem because spreadsheets treat these sorts of characters as real data. Ignoring the column label, in this data you can see four terms that are essentially the same. The spreadsheet, however, sees four different distinct pieces of data. If you were trying to count how many times your data was mentioned, a spreadsheet would show only a single entry. Trim cleans up the spaces but does not clean up line breaks. Clean removes the line breaks but does not remove spaces or tabs. Clean and trim, this shows you how you can perform both operations in one formula. Paste special, you can use this to paste just the values of your cleaned up data. Remember that the other cells all contain formulas. Copy your clean cells and then go to edit, paste special, paste values only. You'll notice that the data that had a line break is missing a space. An easy way to fix this, particularly if you have removed many line breaks from the same value, is find and replace. If you go to edit, find and replace, you will see a pop-up with find and replace options. You could choose to find all instances of your data as one word and replace it with your data as two words. Sometimes the simplest solution is best. And if there's a problem or error that is repeated often in your spreadsheet, find and replace can be an easy solution. Sometimes you might have text as a list of values in one cell when you actually want it to be in separate cells. You can use the split to columns function to fix this. For example, let's type in a list of names separated by commas into our practice spreadsheet. John, Rebecca, Nick, Mark, Sarah. Select the cell and choose where you'd like the split columns to appear. And then let's type in equals split. The cell ID is the cell that you want to split. In this case, it's J12. The delimiter is what separates the values in the cell. It could be a space or a semicolon, any character. In this case, it is a comma. So our formula would be, let's try it out. Another common problem with data is inconsistency. 
For example, the same word might be spelled differently in places, or different words might be used for the same thing. For example, you might have the term female and woman in a spreadsheet for the same thing. In this case, it would be easy to fix using find and replace, but sometimes in documents with many typos, this can be a challenge, and more specialized tools are needed to fix this. We'll examine this in detail a little later.